I never did believe in sci-fi things, and I definitely never in a million years thought that time travel would exist. That was all until that fateful day when my friend Kaz showed me his newly inherited pocket watch. He said it belonged to his great-grandmother, Miss Marie Darwin. Little did we know, we would soon be familiar with that name. It belonged to my great-great-great-grandmother. Oh, you are looking. Can I look at it? Uh, sure, just be careful with it. I did not know I could do that. What just happened? I don't even know. Kaz, you might want to look at this. We shouldn't be here. Wait, hold up. We didn't recognise it at the time, but they were Kaz's great, great grandparents, Marie Darwin and Jack Jones. They ended up being way more trouble than they were worth. Oh, darling, you look ravishing today. Shh. My goodness, are they? What are they wearing? Precisely what I was thinking. They must be connected to that doctor fellow. After them, quickly now. Come here. Wait, wait, wait. That there is Doc. Without him, I don't know what would have happened. We can't be seen around here looking like that. It's closing there. Stay as far away as you can from her. She is trouble. Look, just help us out this one last time. I can't, I can't say. It's fine, we can find her on our own. Come on. That's so strange. They were just here. Do you think they can't travel? No, they can't. Have. They used to just tell the time. We've got you now, time travelers. Don't you dare run away again! Catch them by any means necessary. Suddenly, we were back. One of the worst things that you could have ever experienced and no one would believe it for a second. We got back into town with a silent agreement never to talk about it again. But after being thrown back into our own worlds, we never really got to ask the question, what happened to Doc? A part of me hoped he had lived through it all, but then came the biggest question of all, what happened to the watch? <laughs>